This video shows how Amico SketchBridge can extend traditional freehand sketching with state transitions. In this example, we'll create free sketches, which simulate free screens for where user can press on two buttons to go from main screen to one of the resulting one. The main screen will have two buttons, one instructing the user to press on it and the other asking it not to press. Then we have a screen which can thank you if you press the right button and the screen which will appear when the user press the button which reminds you not to click on it. Now we'll turn the first sketch uh, into active region and said that when user clicks on active region, the interaction will transfer sketch 2 and if he clicks on the second active region, the interaction will be sketch 3. And here is how it looks. Now immediately after drawing and connecting it, the sketch is interacted. As a side effect of this activity, the designer you automatically get a state transition diagram where all the possible states and transitional sketches are visible. This example illustrates how Amico Sketchpad can facilitate creating more alive sketches through the concept of variables. We'll draw a simple knot and then turn this image into active region, which can then be moved around and rotated. Now we can set the properties of this active region so that the parameter of rotation of this active region will be exported to external variable, in this case, variable rotation, the same name. And as a result, as we rotate the object, we will get the field of this variable updated with current orientation of the object. Now we can use this variable to control other objects on a sketch. In this case, we're going to draw a simple sketch of a car. Then we're going to turn this image into an active region and set that the orientation of this active region will equal variable rotation. In this way, Effectively, when I rotate the first active region, I will automatically rotate the second active region. Now I can also set additional properties to the speed of active region. And in only a few seconds, I have quite effective simulation of driving a car. This example illustrates how more complex functionality of sketches can be derived by using Amico sketch in combination with spreadsheets. We illustrate this functionality of an example of simulation of a bike, where we'll have a back wheel rotated by pedals, and the function of rotation of the back wheel will be derived through spreadsheet formulas. We'll first draw the two active regions, one representing the back wheel, and the second one representing the pedal. We are then going to use the properties of rotation of pedal to control the rotation of a back wheel. Now I'm just going to export this rotation variable rotation and connect it to the back wheel to get simple direct mapping of these uh, regions. Okay, now we're going to turn this sketch a little bit more, more complex interactive uh, experience. By adding three buttons which user can press to define how fast will back wheel rotate in terms of multiplication of rotation of pedals with uh, variable one, two, or three. In this case, when user clicks on numbers one, two, or three, variable s will be updated with values one, two, or three. And then later on, we're going to use these two variables, variable rotation as well as variable s. To derive rotation of a back wheel. Now we have functionality where I currently just update two variables on the blackboard. First variable is updated by rotation of pedal, and second variable by clicks on one, two, or three. Now I'm going to open a spreadsheet and import these variables by simply copying and pasting them into the spreadsheet read. Now you can see as I interact with the sketch, these values are automatically updated in the spreadsheets. Now it's easy to derive new value by multiplying multiply these two ones. And now we can see that automatically 
as I interact with objects, all the values of the variables are updated. Now I have to send back the updated variables back to Amico, and then we're going to use in this case variable rotation too, and then we're going to use this variable to control the rotation of the back wheel back to the rear. Okay, now I'm going to set it to the back wheel. And instead of rotation, I will set it to view function of rotation 2. And now we have the full, fun full functionality. If speed is 1, rotation of the back wheel is the same as rotation of pedal. And speed is 2, rotation of back wheel is twice as fast. And if speed is 3, rotation of back wheel is 3 times fast. This example illustrates how we use software samples with Amico Sketchpad. We use here motion detector as software sample. Motion detector detects the motion using web-based camera, and it sends the intensity of motion in terms of number of pixels that are different between successive images in variable motion intensity. Now, I'm going to open a spreadsheet and import this variable received from uh, motion detector in order to derive a new variable which we're going to use to control transparency of image. Now you can see that there is a motion density variable here and now we're going to divide this variable with uh, numbers so that we get the value between 0 and 1. Now I'm going to send back this derived variable back to Amico into variable new variable transparency. And now when I go back you can see that there, there is one new variable called transparency. Now I'm going to import image here and set the transparency of this image will be controlled by the variable transparency and now we're going to see overall effect see if there is some motion and the more intensity the, the motion is the better we see the image if there is no motion image is invisible 